If only you were able to do this in 2022, I promise you're going to have the most fruitful and fast yielding results ever. Just watch this. Hey family and welcome back to my channel. It's Una Lili from The King's Bride and thank you for stopping by to watch this video. This is a practice that I have started or I started rather and I've been receiving good responses and I've been very good with myself. I've been very good with the feeling I get and fulfillment rather I get after accomplishing, accomplishing all this. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about things you should do to yourself and see you yield result and result. I know that there are so many persons out there who come up with different ideas. It is cool. Everyone eats to his own, but mine are practical steps I've taken to myself and I've seen <coughs> Um, really effective um, results. I wish I started them, you know, year earlier years ago. I wouldn't have, I would have gone far farther than where I am right now. So, if, without further ado, let's hit in. Um, let's start with this. Number one, the first thing you should do is please hit the subscribe button on this video, like this video, share it to other people, and help them to come set their 2022 uh, right. With that being said, that's the prefix. Okay, so let's start. The first thing you should do is to set priorities. What do you want to do? Like a weekly to do, right? Don't write down too many things. You may have a list of 1,000 things you want to achieve in a week, which is okay. It shows that you really want to get productive and really be easy, but you need to ask yourself, which of these things are more important? Which of these things should I start doing first? So then you have to place them in order of priority, doing the right thing. The goal here is to do the right thing at the right time and not to do the right thing at the wrong time, which is also going to give you a bad result. By then, it wouldn't be needed. So first of all, set your priorities right. I'm actually going to share just three things you need to do. I know there are a lot of things, but I'm sharing just three things you need to do that is going to help you get really productive and see yourself yield results by 2022. I had to drink this because I'm suffering from I'm having catar, which has really blocked my nostril. So this is lemon water and it's helping me to get through this situation. <sighs> the second thing is to be disciplined. You know, it's very easy for us to write down a lot of a bucket list, a bucket, a bucket list filled with to-do list to do's or things we want to achieve at the end of it all we just find ourselves not even doing anything not even doing none of those things we wrote so instead of writing piling up to do lists or piling up things you want to do you want to accomplish everything in this week and at the end of it all you just don't even get to you know achieve anything or doing it well what's the point of doing it in the first place my motto has always been anything worth doing is what doing right not just me i'm sure you must have come across this motto before anything worth doing is worth doing right so if if you really want to do this thing why not put all the effort involved or all the effort necessary to bring that thing to reality what makes the what is the difference between ordinary people and extraordinary people it is the extra attached to it it is still the same energy you know that it is still the same energy you're going to use to do this thing or do the wrong thing that we still use to do the right thing and do it well so instead of wasting that energy and just doing that thing anyhow why not invest that same energy add a little extra to make it yield results so you need to be quite effective you need to be disciplined in your decisions for example this week you want to shoot a movie film a youtube video you want to accomplish your whatever it is you want to do your school stuff your business you want to run your business you want to grow it you don't spend 99 percent of your time on social media just chatting and laughing your time away and you also while being disciplined you need to set it to know um, the, 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 the the project that are time dependent when you know that this particular project for example I wrote, I did a presentation at school and, and for that presentation at the exam I was preparing for, I had to go up to the social media for one week. I know that if I'm able to you know, finish this exam and this presentation, I can come back on the social media and whatever it is I want to do. So staying off social media for one week, they don't kill me. So these are time dependent. If this one week passes and I don't pass this project and I don't finish this presentation, I don't even pass this exam, yes, the time has passed. I will carry the course over. What is now the point? What is now the essence of waiting? such time so it is important you know that you you work being disciplined you try to do the right thing at the right time you try to you know place priorities to time dependent um to do's out of that bucket list 
you have. The third thing is reward yourself for a week's task well done. Appreciate, appreciate yourself, reward yourself. You know, appreciation always boosts one's morale. There's, there's an adage in Ibo that says, can comment, and that is one of the adages or praises we, we even use while praising God. Not as if God really wants our appreciation, but you know, it boosts his morale. So even you yourself, just imagine, when someone comes to you and says, thank you for doing this for me or for doing that for me, take this little token, it boosts your morale. For workers, when you're tired, maybe in the middle of the month, you're really tired, you're exhausted, but one thing that boosts your morale is once you remember that salary will pay soon, it boosts your morale. When your child does something at home and after doing the, all the chores, cleaning, mopping, doing this, doing their homework, and you get them a sweet, a candy, or a gift, or anything, it boosts their motivation to do more. When I was a kid, my father would always be like, when you take pens, I'm going to buy you a bicycle. My, da my daddy never bought me a bicycle. I think he bought it for one of my siblings, but not me, because I don't think I ever took first in my class <coughs> when I was a kid but i never took last anyways and it hurts so like i was saying appreciate yourself for a, a job well done this is going to boost your morale for me one thing i've started doing to appreciate myself for a job well done is i mean like something clothes shoes gadgets i mean like something i'll be like okay if i'm able to accomplish this for this week or for this month depending like my long-term and short-term goals all have their different rewards their different gifts so if i'm able to accomplish this i am going to give to myself this thing for doing this and i'm going to give to myself that thing for doing that i'm going to give to myself a youtube um gadget for doing this or get myself a new shoes a new cloth a new whatever before you know it to gather properties that want you to look at it you'll be like oh this was the reward i give myself for doing this thing and for accomplishing that so it is very important you develop the habit or you develop the habit and add it to your list of the appreciation you give to yourself it is not always easy to discipline yourself even when your hand wants to go to facebook you want to watch youtube you want to you want to just enjoy luxury it's not easy to discipline yourself to take that present pain like jesus said for the like the scripture said for the joy for the joy the glory of that which was going to come jesus had to enjoy the pain and he had to die you know on the cross for the, that which was going to come so there was a reward for for him same with you try to appreciate yourself try to reward yourself for a job well done drinking lemon water is not a way of rewarding myself i just want to get fine from this qatar yeah about this uh, i hate ginger and onions i had to use onions a friend of mine really just suggested this and i'm sure he's going to be watching this video he is currently in the u.s and he suggested he advised me rather to get an onion cut it and keep it close to my pillow so that while i sleep i can inhale it it's going to help me deal with all this the weather now is really harsh we are in winter and it is terrible if you go to my community post on my youtube you see where i made a post i was like if you can't like if you can't survive really harsh cold winter season don't come to inner mongolia this place to experience winter you spread the cold you spread terrible demonic wind that comes with the cold so it's 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 it's, it's an adverse very harsh um weather in china so a quick recap of what i just said the first thing is prioritize what you want to do the second thing is get disciplined and last thing is Appreciate yourself, reward yourself. I hope to see you get better in 2022 when you start applying all this. And please try to see that you write your to do's or your plan, your goal for 2022 before 2022 comes. So, with this, we come to the end of today's video. I'm still your girl, Nalu Ifoma. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting on the QA I did. And thank you for engaging on my post. I want to see you next time. I love you. Bye bye. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. Oh God. Okay. Let's do this. Hey Sydney's family and welcome back to my channel. It's Nana Ifoma the King's Bride and I want to say welcome to the month of December 2021. Finally, God has brought us to the end of this year and it's 
it's been a beautiful experience though crazy in some at some point but the beauty of it all is that we ended up not giving up right so i know why you're here to watch this video and i promise you it's going to be worth it and this video now is going to help you to set your 2021 all right 2022 rather all right so you can start from now to plan how your 2022 will look the first quarter of your 2022 so you can start seeing results in your 2022. Hmm. <sighs>